Hello everybody, this is David from Gold Star Tool and uh, today I'm going to do a comparison between the NewTek HA441 and a NewTek GC-8B. Uh, they're both cylinder bed and they're both walking feet but I have uh, a lot of calls that people asking me what is the difference between these two. So. Uh, I hope that by, by making this video you could see the difference. I mean, you could already see that uh, the one to the left hand side, which is HA441, is much bigger. It's also made by Juki and made by uh, uh, Cowboy Company. Uh, it's a huge, huge machine for saddle makers. Um, the, the way from the feet and the plate and the needle, size 29 I think the needle is, yes. Size 20, it's all for saddle makers and luggage makers, the people that make luggage. Now, I'm gonna go over the uh, some of the stuff here and then we'll move over. So, this is the machine right here, it's about uh, 250 to 300 pounds overall. Uh, it's got a metal base and a metal stand. You cannot put this on anything else, but metal base and metal stand. Uh, got a wooden top. The way we made this table is that you could use this area if you have a huge saddle or something that you want to uh, show that it's huge and big. Um, again, plate, feed dog, and bobbin and bobbin case that go here are totally different than the other one. And I'll go over that in a minute with you. Uh, the machine right here got an uh, automatic bobbin winder on the machine. Uh, you could use anything that I think the smallest thread that you can uh, that you could use on this machine is a bounded thread 69. You could go pretty pretty thick. This is a T190 that I'm using here, but you could go up to T400, T450. Really really thick stuff for making saddle, making luggage, heavy stuff. Um, from uh, one to 11 uh, a stitch size uh, rewind backwards forward uh, right here we have a uh, speed uh, control that makes it uh, go uh, slower uh, and you could adjust it pretty much from here so we got uh, the, the belt you got the motor belt from there to the speed and uh, speed control and then from here to here so that's an option a lot of people want it you could get it on the sewing machine that option is on our website uh, the motor is brushless uh, 750 uh, watts it's really heavy heavy duty and it's got uh, it's one of those uh, motor that you could put the uh, the needle positioning system on it. Uh, I just took it out because I wanted to work with it uh, and I didn't want it to uh, bother me with it. But this is the whole setup. The price is online. It's HA-441 and uh, again, uh, a very, very good machine. Now, I'm going to get, there is a two layers of very heavy um, vinyl with the um, uh, backing I'm gonna make it to four right and I'm gonna make that four later on we're gonna again the before we go on let me just give some sizes because I think you're gonna ask me what are all the sizes that are related to this sewing machine okay so the bed is 16 inch exactly from the neck to the needle, where the needle is 16 inch. Um, overall, the table, the overall the machine is uh, 23. The table, it's, the working area is 29 inch, and you wanna go one end to one end, is 43 inch. Uh, the, the other way around, uh, 21 inch. The height is, adjustable and what, what we have it on is on 
30 inch but uh, if you could look underneath uh, you could adjust the uh, table up and down. Now again the table is really heavy because the machine is heavy and I have wheels underneath so you could move it around but the height of the machine itself is 16 or 17 inch. I know a lot of people want to work from home and they, they're limited to the uh, the space that they have. So uh, speed reducer right here if you want to know there are a bunch of them in the market but the one that I have it's 9 inch overall uh, but and then again with the needle positioning system really really heavy duty uh, sewing machine right here and again for pretty much style makers um, people that make luggage really heavy stuff so here uh, I mean we have a huge roll of this vinyl here and it's been making uh, videos for past two years and we cannot get rid of it so much on the road um, the next question would be the height of the foot one inch that's how much it goes up one inch how much you could put anything one inch underneath so here we go I'm gonna do four layer and I'm gonna just start sewing it so heavy um, the thread came out I had to get more thread in there but it's all good this is what I want to go through so you guys could see that things could go wrong while you are sewing so meanwhile while you are it you could see that um, the threading of the machine so like if you could get a close-up right here you'll see that this is a really really heavy um, thread and a heavy needle right here uh, so let me just want to make sure that am I doing right no I'm going wrong here you go okay let's do it and I'm going to try to go really slow all oh, this going backward that's why so on the machine on the motor usually you have this uh, bring right here so I could show what customer do you have uh, this is a brushless motor and you see you have P in here and if you look at this one that I have here is P and there's a dot so with this motor you could do reverse you could depending on different part of the world the way the motors are done uh, the electricity is different uh, that's why it's very easy to go ahead see like this one right now what I'm doing is um, adjusting the speed besides what you have in here which is a speed control and speed reducer you could reduce the speed right here I did that and then here I did P period and now the machine is gonna go so the way we want it to and here we go now this is really oh my god this is heavy okay. cutting thread I think I have to adjust the so there is a oil box here that you could put in um, silicone oil because our threads are really really heavy and um, usually people have this full of silicone oil so when the uh, the thread goes through toward, uh, through a silicone oil and it wouldn't be so hard to work with but anyways uh, we don't I did not fill it up the machine is empty uh, and 
it doesn't have any oil anyway. So, and I'm going to make sure that we have, let me show we have, uh, yeah, we have lower thread. And here we go. And okay, so I just threaded the uh, the uh, the sewing machine, and uh, this is two layer. But I'm going to go ahead and fold this uh, and start sewing. Or maybe I do it this way so you guys could see how thick this thing could do uh, could go uh, I adjusted the thread again see how fast and so this is four layer now and I'm going to show you the back too look at the back and I'm going to do another fold And I did another fold. Now, when I come back down here, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just to show you how thick this could show. I'm gonna get, get this end and put it underneath here. So right here I have like pretty much so many layers. And it's like a sewing like that. It's, it's like I could go and even dub this thickness. Okay. Look at that. No problem. This is how thick it did. Okay, now back here again. This is the bobbin winder right here. This is, if you could do a close up, it's reverse. This is the middle, and this is the size that could go out to 11 millimeter. Now, how you, on the side, right here, this is the way I'm gonna try. Uh, to take the bobbin case out and show you this is the actual bobbin case and this is the bobbins uh, so it's not a regular or M bobbin is a and we have everybody has them we have them back in there very easy to uh, take out and put it so it's a side it's a lot of people want to know how it could be uh, done we can remove set beautiful machine now this is the new tech HA 441 and real grandmommy now this is not what I just showed this is a small version uh, the 11 inch from uh, maybe even 10 and a half, you could say 10 and a half, 10, 10, 10 45 from the neck. Um, overall, sewing machine, 17 inch. The table is 23 right here. Uh, 21 right here. All across is about 37. Height, again, adjustable, 31. Uh, I sh have already showed you how this machine works. Reverse, forward, a stitch all the way to five millimeter. Uh, bobbin winder right here. Uh, needle positioning right here. I have not set it up. Again, same brushless motor. Uh, now with this one, uh, you have the almost a regular um, I have with this one we do not have a lot of option on the foot and feed dog and plate with this one we have many many options I made a video uh, and also could so pretty good uh, for the size that you have and how fast 
very easy to get around, I mean, around edges, uh, especially for bag makers. Uh, you could also use this for shadow, small tiny shadows, uh, more of a craft, leather, uh, vinyl, uh, so many different stuff. Uh, up to 180 thread, um, bobbin and bobbin case are uh, uh, different than the normal one. We have them set up on our uh, website, um, but this is the difference between two, these two. This is uh, obviously cheaper than this one, maybe even half a price, maybe this is about thousand bucks, this one is about two thousand bucks, but this is what you get, is what you see right here. Everything is, this one doesn't have a speed reducer, uh, oil right here, with this one also, oil goes right here, you get the oil with it. Um, you could get a automatic bobbin winder on this one if you want, an option with this one you know, don't need because there is one right here. And everything is, else is the same, but the table, this table is much, much sturdier. Uh, more heavy duty, wheels on this one, no wheels on this one, and uh, call me or email me and thumbs up, like the video, share the video, and let me know what you want us to do next. Thank you for watching. This is our website goldstartool.com